Oh, hi. I'm just trying to think of what to do today. I mean, I've been playing darts a lot. I guess I got pretty good. So, hmm. Oh, I know. Let's put on highway pegs. Okay, so where did I get these uh, highway pegs? Well, just go to your Google machine, your phone, your laptop, your computer desktop, whatever, and type in highway pegs, motorcycle highway pegs, whatever, and you're going to come up with this same product right here. Now, the, the product comes in a variety of names. If you're in the U.S., you'll see it Revzilla links, you'll see Amazon links, you'll see maybe a couple of others. Uh, depending what other country you're in, you'll still see the same product. I guarantee you these are just some bulk made product in some other country. I'm seeing the same thing from different names at varying prices. So what I did was I bought the cheapest ones I could find. Now, I kind of knew going into it that you get what you pay for in a way. And I'm pleased to tell you that I'm actually impressed with what I got. First of all, the picture doesn't quite do it justice. You can see here, th these things, they're pretty beefy, considering. They could be a little bigger, but at the same time, I was expecting a much smaller, dinkier product, and they're really not that bad. So I I'll give them kudos for that. They don't look great, <laughs> but on an adventure bike, I suppose, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's kind of a utilitarian bike anyways. If I had a really nice cruiser, if I had a bobber or something like that, there's no way I would put this on them. They're just too ugly. I would go and spend the money and get a, at least a decent Kuriakin or something like that. We're talking about 26 bucks here, so sort of what do you expect? Now, what I will say is the mechanical function of these is really simple when you look at them. It's a U-clamp with some washers that lock into a, like a tubular metal and you just slap it on there, you pick the right uh, U-clamp for the size you get, and it looks really simple. Now here's reality. I took my uh, caliper here, and I measured the crash bars on that Tiger. The crash bars were exactly right in between the size range it gives you uh, on, the, on the product display. It says from this size to this size. Great. So I get the product. Well, here's the reality of it. As you'll see here, Putting it on, my bars are literally right in the middle of that range. They are too big for the small U, and they're too small for the big U clamp. So that's a pain in the ass. I'm just going to be frank about it. So, uh, you know, basically what I did was I tried taping around the bar to give it some size, but it was just wobbly and squishy. You didn't want it because you put your feet on it, it was, you could feel them bending and bowing. So I waited. And I go to Napa and I went and bought some uh, gas hose, some really stiff rubber hose. And I cut it into pieces, you can see here. Just cut it into sections. I got two sizes of hose because I knew you, you just need more than one thing. Here's one of the uh, lengths of hose. Basically, this is inch pipe or inch hose. And I just cut a section off and slapped it on there. Well, the inch was too big. So. I used the other size I got, a three quarter inch, which only partially wrapped, but did give the bar some more diameter. So the only thing I could do at this point was put the bigger U-bolt on it, which is fine. I will say this in doing this, and I think e basically when you put your feet on here, if you were to like a traditional highway pig and be able to put your weight on them so that you can actually relieve pressure from your buttocks, you wouldn't want to do that with these. They will push forward. Okay, and I think they would do that if they fit perfectly on the metal. If I'm being honest, I think just the the design of it, uh, there is you could really crank this thing down, and it will still push around. So what I'm doing with mine instead is making a sort of place to rest your feet, so you can stick your feet out in a relaxed position and just set your heels on top of the peg. So if you look at it, rather than pushing the pegs forward which would cause them to go around the pipe I'm putting my weight on top of the pegs like this and it's pushing the U-bolts at a, a downward point which means they're gonna they're gonna bite in 
rather than spin around the pipe. So I've I've tested it plenty. It works pretty good. All right, guys. So just hanging out in the dog bed under the uh, work table, one of my favorite places to be. I thought I'd give you guys some alternative solutions to mounting these. Probably worth discussing considering that not everyone has bars and not everyone has these exact bars or bike. So let's look at the bike and let's pick some alternative places. If this was the XC model that came with the lower engine crash bars, you could mount them to those crash bars, no problem. I think that would be easier, that probably the small bracket would have fit better. Another option. Well, I had considered drilling in right here, just drilling it in and just running the bolt. So basically not using this U-bolt connector here and just bolting them into the belly pan. So that's another option you could do. And I don't think you'd be in the way or anything like that. The only issue I found about on this particular bike is that you'd be putting your legs right up against the uh, engine casing and everything and it this part gets really hot on this bike uh, really hot so your legs in the summertime you know that's not that's not where you want your legs you'd rather have them you'd rather have them out here but it's an option other options well there's not too many more on this bike I'm afraid so uh, you know you really need to have some kind of bar or a belly pan or maybe even some non vital bolt point uh, that you could attach to on the frame or on the um, you know around the engine itself so I mean I yeah you shouldn't be mounting things to the engine but you know heck I put those frame sliders on my Hayabusa well what's the harm so uh, hopefully they do their job anyways I'm gonna get cleaned up let's do it good sounding closing outro video all right guys so you know i know you've seen these pegs online if you've been looking for them i just wanted to give you some feedback on them you know it's 26 bucks i didn't expect perfection and they are far from perfect however uh, on those occasional times where i want to go on a long ride and kick my feet out it's kind of a nice thing to have so i think i'll be using that now i did go ahead and tie up the uh, foot pegs to the crash bars I just used a Velcro wrapping essentially and got it really tight so that the rubber part of the foot peg was against the bar and I think that's going to keep it from buzzing or vibrating essentially when I don't need them and they're, they're, they're really quite out of the way as far as that goes. You know my point with this bike is I can't afford a bike for every day of the week or for matching every pair of shoes I have so I need this machine to do all of it for me so when I'm with my Harley guys this is going to be a Harley. <laughs> When I'm with my off-road guys, we take the panniers off and uh, we get to it with the uh, with the dirt riders. So this is it. This is my basically my machine. Well, guys, I hope this was helpful to you. I really appreciate your support. Any new subscribers are really great. Um, it's been a lot of fun. This is basically something for me to do in my evenings, and I, and I just really enjoy talking to the people who comment. So please comment. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, even if you don't like my content, feel free to tell me and I'll probably give you a very friendly reply. Uh, on top of that, you guys check it out. Uh, I'm on Instagram now. I'm trying to learn that. I'm basically an old man at heart, so that's a very new thing to me. I don't understand hashtags, so, uh, but I'm getting there. Uh, there it's Moto Drain. You can just look me up on there and look. It's somewhere, boom, 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 somewhere right here. I'll catch you guys next time. Ride safe. See you then.